right, people. Welcome back. Another top five. I don't trust you. Uh -huh. <laughs> After what you did last uh -huh. time, so as you guys can tell by the title, this is actually top five quick play spell cards. Mm -hmm. And we're actually going to split this up into two because we were like, all right, top five quick play spell cards. Let's go ahead and do it. And then there were just so many theme-specific quick play spell cards. So good that we're just like, you know what? Screw it. We got we to split this into two. So next week, we're going to go ahead and come back and do theme-specific. So before you guys lose your shit, no, there is not any mass change or mass change second on this list. That's theme-specific. Wait, 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 wait. We couldn't put mass change on here? My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that to me. Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> All right. So we, of course, each have our own five. So it's kind of like more of like the top ten because mm -hmm. there's plenty of quick play spell cards and they're just so powerful. Arguably, probably one of the most powerful cards being able to go ahead and play from your hand as an also, but then it turns into a trap that's very powerful. True, true, so true. Uh, quick play spell cards, we love them, we use them. So uh, do you want to go first or nope. should I go first? No, you go first. Why do I always go first? Because your channel. <sighs> All right. <laughs> So my number five quick play spell card, and it's actually one that's been uh, kind of popular lately, especially when you're playing a Pendulum Blaze deck. I'm going to have to say Wavering Eyes. Mm. Wavering Eyes has been putting in that work. And, of course, if you're not paying a, playing a Pendulum Blaze deck, then yes, Fairy Box is better in my opinion. Mm. But if you're playing a Pendulum Blaze deck and you go ahead and play that Wavering Eyes, of course in Cleese, not only does it allow you to go ahead, destroy your two Pendulum Skills and search for that Scout, and it's also pretty much the fuel that created Tower Turbo, and in the mirror match, pretty much whoever fucks up with their eyes loses. Because just being able to get all four of those effects off, you, you pretty much just won. Mm -hmm. Like, you play your scales, I'm playing my scales, you're not ready, bam, wavering eyes, that's pretty much a game. Because not only am I going to search for another wavering eyes and fuck with you later, but I get to banish a card on the field, I get to search for a pendulum monster, and of course flip 500, but... All of that, that's pretty much game. I broke your scales, I banished one of your cards, I searched for another wing match, I searched for a Pendulum Monster, i.e. probably being Scout because it's probably going to be played in a clean mirror match. It's just a very powerful card and definitely deserves the number five spot. But I would only put it five just because Fairy Box is better for non-Pendulum based decks. Alright, what's your number five? Shrink. Alright, tell me why you think Shrink. Because Shrink. Who doesn't like the fact that they can have their opponent freaking attack wins during a damage step and they can't do nothing about it? You do the math. <laughs> exactly. You do the math, and you can't stop me unless you got to honor some bullshit like that. Yeah, unless you have something mm -hmm. that's, what, a counter trap, mm -hmm. something to negate, or something else that affects mm -hmm. uh, attack, slash defense, then nope. <laughs> exactly. So you can say, I turn the damage stuff. Ah, no. Lance. Uh, shrink. I almost said Lance. <laughs> say. I'm so say. used to Lance. Uh -huh. <laughs> shrink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So that is your number five. Yep. All right. So moving on to my number four, I'm going to have to say... Shared Ride. Shared Ride is actually a pretty good card. It's kind of like the maxi of uh, searching, you know? Mm -hmm. It's a quick play spell. You go ahead and play something that search. I'm going to go ahead and play Shared Ride. You can keep searching, but I'm going to keep drawing. So, you know, I suggest that you stop searching. Because if you don't, then I'm just going to, you know, out-resource you. True, you right? want to take that searching challenge, you know? Because generally searching is a one-for-one. One, mm -hmm. But, you know, after I played my Shared Ride, if you keep searching, you're just one for one while I'm plusing. So... Uh, definitely Shirt Ride's actually a pretty good card because it's the max C of searching. All right. What's your number four? Magical Dimension. Do you know what that is? Yeah, I know what it is. All right, do you know what it does? Isn't it like you can go ahead and, like, tribute the spellcaster, some of the spellcaster from your hand, and then pop a monster? Yep. You plus for plusing for plusing for plusing. Is it plusing? Yeah, technically. Because... You play it, you tribute a monster, you summon a monster, mm -hmm. which is... And then you destroy a monster. Isn't that a zero? That looks like a plus to me. Especially in Gravekeeper, that's a plus. Because that's the only deck that really uses this card anyway. You, know? you tell us if it's a plus or not. But I think that card is awesome. And any spellcaster deck would be happy to have it. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So. You picked all the good new cards. I gotta pick the other one, especially since this isn't. You can't use fucking theme bullshit. I gotta. Hey, God, you hey, pick I, all the I, good I shit. made a list for you. You could have took some of the. Cards and you off didn't that want list. me to use it. Move on. No, 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 no. I had ten, and I cut it in half. You could have took some of them cards. Instead, you bust out this fucking dimension old ass card. Fucking mad. Destroy destroy fucking. Too low. Too low. Too low. Shut up. Go. My number three. Mm -hmm. All right, so, of course, I said share right, mm -hmm. which is like the max C. I suggest you stop. But what's better than just suggesting you stop? How about you just stop? So instead of the max C of searching, the effect veil of searching, I'm going to go ahead and have to say, number three, mistaken arrest. Mm -hmm. 
Let's just go ahead. You play a search card? Nah, chain. Mistaken arrest. How about you don't search? You're not searching for the rest of the turn, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, in my opinion, I actually prefer just regular mistake because instead of just, you know, temporarily, I'm probably going to get one card. It's not like I'm going to go, you know, you activate a search card, I call mistake arrest, and you just keep on throwing freaking search cards at me. I better just go ahead and flip that mistake and I'll make all your search cards dead. But it's actually a pretty good card for decks that rely on searching, but they just want to hurt their opponent when some searching. So, like, maybe like a Necro's Mirror match or right. something. If I can just go ahead and stun you for one turn where you can't search and you can't pull off your plays, whether it be your Mirrors in the Graveyard, your Manju, your Senju, all them searching cards in Necros, then that's not bad. That's not bad. And if I can go ahead and wrap up the duel then, then it was totally worth it. So, uh, Mistake and Arrest, like I said, is a pretty good quick play spell card. What is your number three? Silver Cry. I'm done. Uh -huh. I'm done. See? I'm done. I'm uh -huh. done. I did not take all the good cards. Yeah, he did. No, he I took didn't. all the good cards. He took uh, them all. I did not see, take all he, the see, good see, cards. See, he listened to him. He's like, oh, man, I made I a list of ten. Them. He took all the good cards. I went down a list. If I, took, if I made a list of ten and it's my five, then what happened to the other five? You could have used them. Continue. Go ahead. Explain the reason why you think fucking Silver Cry is so good. Because it's awesome. Because you could bring back a normal dragon type. Oh, my card. God. Normal dragons. It's so relevant and good right now. Mm-hmm. You're so fired. I know. <laughs> Moving on. No, 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 no. That's it? That's it? You want to go into a little bit more detail? You see how much detail I'm going into? And you don't say shit. I am never doing a top five with you ever again. I know. I know. This is this is a waste. This is just bad. I, see, I thought, you know what, I should have, this is my fault. I should have went over your fucking five with you. Because this is bad. You know what, no! I should not have to babysit you! This is bad! Your quick play spells are bad! They're, they're borderline theme Pacific. Borderline! Instead of theme Pacific, they're type Pacific. You chose a one for spellcaster, one for a dragon. Don't you want to get a little bit broader than that? I'm done. I'm done. Moving on, number two, <laughs> and number two, which is arguably probably one of the best quick play spell cards in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, very popular card, some people think it should go up to two, two in the LCG, we're going to talk about Book of Moon. Fuck that card! Right, see? Mm. <laughs> see, this is why I didn't have to do any work, because he was going to get too hype over this stuff. Fuck oh, that right. card. I can't, I, I can't even count... On my, on my hands how many times I've lost the duel because of that card. Whether they top decked it, whether they fucking just bust it out at the incorrect time. Mm -hmm. It's just so fucking good. It's the best neg one you can ask for. You can use it offensively. You can use it defensively. When your opponent tries to, you know, flip over that royal decree and fuck you with all them traps. Right. But when it's here to save you. And mm -hmm. it's saved a handful of times I've lost because my opponent top decked. I've lost my invite to a goddamn <sighs> nationals. <sighs> I hate you, Book of Moon, but I, I respect you, but I hate you. Fuck you, Book of Moon. Mm -hmm. What's your number you two? Sure, sure you done? I sure you ain't fuck got no more hate? Fuck Book of Moon. Uh, I say, because I know you got fuck a little more hate. Do I need to fucking take the Book of Moon ripped in half yeah, in my wallet probably. that I carry <laughs> yeah, on yeah, me? Probably, I'm always, uh, the uh, hatred boils mm -hmm, inside right, me. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, what's your number two? Scapegoat. Okay. Why scapegoat? Because it could protect you when you're finna get killed. Instantly summon four monsters and the loophole with that you can still tribute some of them for a special summon monsters. So plasma? Mm-hmm. And other things like that, like grinder golem and other crap like that if you can do it. I always fuck it up, but I keep on forgetting that you can't summon any monsters that you have to play. Yeah, you're doing end phase. phase. Exactly, that's what you do. Or if they're finna attack for you, hit, like, bam, I got four monsters now, bitch, get through it. I, I want to know. I want to know your number one. I'm just as anticipation as as you guys, people. All right, you guys should already know my number one. If Book of Moon's number two, then what could possibly be my number one? It's obvious. Which is it's kind of redundant because when I did my top five spell cards by myself, and now I'm just doing top five quick play spell cards. I mean, obviously this one has to be on here. We're gonna go ahead and say MST. MST, fucking most played card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Come on, freaking MST is so. I good. don't know. Don't they got that? Galaxy Cyclone thingy thing thing <sighs> thing that the, the they're using. See, the problem with Galaxy Cyclone, the reason why I'm not so hyped about it, is because, yeah, you get to double pop. You get to go ahead and pop a set, then next turn banish it, pop a face up. That's mm -hmm. awesome. But if your opponent doesn't have a set card, you can't fucking play it. And there's been a handful of times, and I've seen it a handful of times, where people are playing Galaxy Cyclone, not MST, their opponent plays a field spell, right. no set cards, and they would love to get rid of that field spell. And of course, field spells are very powerful right now. Mm -hmm. Whether it be you're doing against UAs, or you're doing against, you know, trains or something. You want to get rid of that field spell. Right. But you can't, because you have Galaxy Cyclone. Mm -hmm. MST, on the other hand... Bam. Face out, face down, I don't care. And also, being a quick play spell card, that I, if I go first, I'm just going to set this MST, and then during the end phase, I'm going to flip up that MST, pop that before it even gets played, before it gets... I 
activated as a trap card during my turn. MST is the best, and they just keep on trying to make different versions of it. They're like, oh, Dust Tornado, and Twister, and Gas Cyclone, and Typhoon. Isn't Dust Tornado older than MST, though, or the same age? Cause then they uh, MST came out first, uh. then Dust Tornado. Ah. Yeah. Like I said, it's definitely deserved its spot, and they just keep on trying to make replicas, and it's just not as good. The quick play spell card, the OG MST most played card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. I love you, MST. What's your number one? My body is a shield. I'm actually surprised that you do not put Forbidden Lance. For how much you love Forbidden Lance, I am actually surprised you, you do not. I thought that was going to be your number one. I thought it was going to be Forbidden Lance. Honorable mention, Forbidden Lance. Mm -hmm. why, for, why, why my body? Because according to what people say, oh, life points don't mean anything, so why not pay 59 life points to stop a spell a trap artifact from destroying your shit? Why not? It's spell a trap card? Yeah, it says you could pay 1,500 life points and your opponent activates a spell a trap or monster effect that would destroy okay, a monster on okay, your field and that. gain the activation. Okay, I was about to say. Mm -hmm. I was like, I, I thought it was Monster Effect, because if it would just block a no. Spell or Trap from Destruction by paying 1500 mm -hmm. then I would just play Lance. Nah, Spell Trap or Monster Effect. I'd still All rather play Lance. We didn't... <sighs> You're fired. You're fired. Your list is so bad, like, no Lance. This man loves Lance. No, I don't. Don't listen to him. You love Lance! You played in your fucking deck! I don't see you playing my body as a shield in your fucking deck. He's lying. I'm done. I'm done. This is... Oh, my God. Honorable mention, Lance. The only reason why I didn't put Lance on my list is because I thought he was going to put it on his. I'm done. I'm done. This is bad. You're bad. I'm done. I'm done. I was like, oh, yeah, top fives. We can have Rennie in, and then Rennie's bad. <laughs> All right. Do you know well, why I'll I picked, get, I'll do you know why, do you know why I picked those cards? Do you know why? Because you're fucking lazy and you didn't take the time to actually look? No, because I wanted to see your reaction to it. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I actually want this to be a fucking good video. It is I'm a done. good video. No! <laughs> Alright, so for all you casual scrubs out there, listen to Rennie's list, but if you actually want to play some fucking competitive shit, man, I had some sucking good cards. I thought you were going to put XC's Encore, like maybe Defusion, Super Poly! I'm done. I'm done. I should have just made your list for you. I should have just... I should have just made your list. I said I was done last time, and now I'm back. I tried to give you one more chance. Just turn the video off. Mm-hmm. I feel so defeated. <laughs> your lists were so bad. I thought... I thought... I thought maybe we had something. Forget it. All right, people. No more Rennie. Forget it. I'll just do the top fives myself, because <laughs> Rennie is just... I'm done. Turn it off. <laughs> turn it off! <laughs> no, I'm not going to turn it off. Like, subscribe, and comment. No, if you like don't. seeing them like this, this is why I do it, because it's funny. It's so funny. If you guys like them like this, let me know, and I'll keep doing stuff to make them like this, because it's hilarious. XC's Encore, Super Poly, Defusion, Forbidden Lamp. But it wouldn't have been funny! Exactly. See, look at him. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you guys think, if this was hilarious or not. If it was very hilarious to you guys, I'll keep doing it. If not, I'll try to be serious. But we can't have two serious people on here. That doesn't work. You got anything you like to say to the people? I hate you so much. Uh -huh, and I love you too, bro. All right, then, y'all. Like, subscribe, and comment. Peace.